So what's up guys, um, today I'm going to be starting a brand new game in Dark Souls, um, pretty much getting ready for Dark Souls 3, I plan on, be on beating uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2, um, I love the games, I'm not terrible at them, not great, um, but I've never actually beaten one because once I get more than halfway through it, I just end up wa uh, watching YouTube videos and lore videos and stuff and I just kind of stop playing and then end up watching other people finish the game for me. Um, so this time I'm going to do it. Um, let's see, we have, yep, yep, that's good, that's good, cool, cool, cool. That um, I was like starting the theme because I like the key. Uh, yeah, we'll do God, uh, which is ring, whatever. Uh, who cares? Uh, random. All right, so we're here. Cool. We're good. And I'll shut up through all the cutscenes, of course. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods grew the heart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen, Carriers of the accursed. 
opposite dog sign. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. So I'm back. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, pretty much the way I plan on doing it is I'm going to try to... I'm, well, I'm shooting for at least an episode a day. Um, hopefully I'll be able to finish both games before April. Depending on how quickly I finish them, um, I may or may not also do a Bloodborne playthrough because I also have the means of recording that. Here, I'm sure we'll light the first bonfire. Why not? And here we got a peek at the tutorial boss, which I always thought was really funny. Um, but yeah, he's right up there. There you go. The asylum demon. And you notice his door opens, he comes down, and okay, that's it. Um, you can beat him on the first go if you take the black fire bombs, and he does drop a weapon for you. I believe it's the Doom Great Axe, but there's another way to get it. <laughs> sad. Backstab. Backstab. <laughs> Still got it. Alright. Just killed him. Put their shield too. You can still light roll with it. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so like I said, depending on how it goes, I may or may not also do Bloodborne. Um, I know it has absolutely nothing to do with it, but that's another uh, Souls like game since they were both moved by front self. Um, I'm gonna trigger this shit. There you go. Um, that I started and never beat for the exact oh, same reasons. You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. Oh, yeah? But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. 
An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Ooh. Oh, and this. Now Sweet. I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Sweet. Alright, so we got everything. Look for this guy. Can go down there and with the shortcut, but I really don't care not to do that. Um, notice how he said in that dialogue that it's the Bell of Awakening instead of, you know, well, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one that knows there are two. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come out. Yeah. Fuck. My, par my backstab game good. My parry game is good. Next, gotcha. Bitch. Get all the backstabs. Fuck you. you drop in. Sweet! And drop the longsword for us. That is kind of cool. Uh, let's top off. I'm gonna duel with my weapon. And... Dungeon R2. Also, something worthy of noting. The bandit knife actually has very good bleed damage. So if you notice, every third attack deals substantially more than every other one. Oh, there you go. And he's dead. That, that, that's really all there is to this boss. <laughs> um, also, another way I'm kind of leaning on... You hear the ball... Uh, down here is actually an optional boss uh, that we can come back later and fight, which we'll do. Um, but what's it called? Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, we will be, pretty much each episode I will be trying to do at least one boss, one major boss, you know? Some, some spikes. Over here is where you can trade with the crows. You, you. But I really don't have anything in your trade, so we're not going to do that. Um, down here, you can get a soul item, uh, which we'll get. And here we go. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Oh, yeah? Lordra. So here we are at Firelink Shrine. A um, couple things I want to get in Firelink Shrine before we go to the first, uh, well, the first actual area of this place. So yes, I know Virgin level up at the bonfire, which, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to get at least uh, 30 strength right off the bat. Uh, another reason I start the thief is because it, it's. The starting dex is good enough for a lot of weapons. So just go right into strength. Um, down here, you're gonna get a uh, fire bombs. And 
and over here we're gonna meet uh, Petrus, an NPC. He has interesting uh, lore about him, but we'll look into that later. He teaches you miracles. Down here, this is actually going to be a shortcut up to the first, uh, well, technically second boss in the area. But if you jump down and then jump down here, you actually get like a little stash of weapons. So we have the Homeward Bones, Morning Star, and the Cracked Red Eye Orb. Alright, so we got this, Lloyd's Talisman, and we're going to do the graveyard run real quick. Going to get some stuff, uh, soul item, let me come down here, oh, no, 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 body blocked. We're going to get my favorite, my actually one of our starting weapons next to the Uchi Katana, which, yes, I will be killing him for the binoculars down here. Oh shit, I'm dead here. Ooh, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Right. I kind of expected a tie there. Um, that is half the graveyard run. There is a shield, but I got really what I wanted to get from there. We will suicide one more time, though. Um, down here. Um, over here, underneath, you have the firekeeper. For the fire up top, she doesn't speak. You can reinforce Estes Flask, which we will meet her for very shortly. Um, because if you just suicide down here, you don't need the master key or anything for this. You just kind of come down here and take the elevator down. A couple of starting items. Not necessarily starting items, but a couple of good items to have. Jump. Ah, uh, just made it. Right. Back here. Oh, I thought there was an item there. I was wrong. Anyway, if you come in over, if you come up here and you, you have two options to open this. You either take the master key to start up like I did. Or you actually get the key later. But I have the master key, so I just unlocked it. That's actually the main way I used to get to Blight Town, because I hate going the normal way. Through. Through. Uh, what's it called? Through the depths. Um, and here we meet our actual first blacksmith that we can actually get to fairly early. He's a. Uh, well, let's well, this talk is to unusual. him. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky of Benign. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinay. There you go. So, we can purchase some items from him. He, he does have heavy soul arrow and soul arrow, and of course a sorcerer's catalyst. Um, he will do basic upgrades for us um you can modify but we don't he doesn't have a, come back soon he doesn't have any Smith special numbers yet we will get we will give him a don't let me wither away out of number two anyway as we proceed let me get well, what i actually came here for two things really for this the yes stock a really good dex weapon and then, actually, if you break this jar, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and of course I'm mistaken, no, I'm right, ah, transient curses. Um, you will need them later on for this area, but right now, there's no point. I'm literally just going to go and get, get what I want from here and get the fuck out. 
what I want. You can probably see it. Yeah, that's what I want. I want that. That's right over there. But you see the asshole enemies of this area, which are the ghosts. This is where auto, uh, auto wall correct would have royally fucked you up. I am a nope. Goodbye. Yeah, again. <laughs> Two main deaths I like to do right at the beginning of the game. But anyway, now we have that Firekeeper soul. We can come down here and reinforce it. And Estus Flash is reinforced. So you see right down there it says Estus Flash plus one. It means it heals me for more uh, than a standard Estus Flash. Um, that pretty much covers everything, I think. And I may have missed a few soul items or whatever. I know I missed the item up there. There's an item above a building, but we'll get that later. And on we go. A little stuttering is the game loading area. I'm messing around with a bunch of different ways of installing right now and recording this thing. Um, because originally I was using Shadowplay to record it, which actually records really good quality video, but it uses variable frame rates, which my editing software does not like. Fuck you. So I'm using OBS now, but I'm encoding it through uh, 264 or whatever. I'm just messing around with stuff. Maybe next one, next time I'll use the GPU encoder and see how it looks. Because this is fairly strenuous on my computer right now. But we'll figure it out. And you're dead. Give me this. Note the master key will not open this door. Because the door doesn't even open from this side. And now one of the best starting areas of any game ever. I do not remember the last time I was actually here. Well, the game is on point right now. Is there an item in here? I never remember if there's an item in here or not. I don't think so. I think it's just that enemy. Anyway, just break all your stuff, man. Fuck mm. your box. Right, now we can continue. Uh, that, that, that was satisfying. And. Soul of the Lost Undead. You cannot make this jump. You cannot make this jump from here. And here's our first encounter with this asshole. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Alright, I forgot about the crossbow guy. Come down here. Oh, I missed that. I missed that too. Oh shit. Oh, don't get wrecked. Um, I wasn't even aiming at that guy. Fuck this crossbow guy. Let's go kill him. Before we continue. Alright. There is a bonfire over there. I'm not going to light it just yet. Um, <clears throat> primarily because I don't want to respawn everyone yet. But right, right. This way. <laughs> That way. Um, 
and there is a merchant over here which he does sell a bunch of good stuff Um, right through here, got some stairs, little ambush right here. I'm dead. And here is our merchant. <laughs> now, what I really want from him is the short bow. Now, he, he also has a key that I want to. I don't know if he drops it if I kill him. But I don't remember, and to tell you the truth, I just really don't want to chance it. So 400. Alright, I got four of these. Give me your key. Right. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Bro, you're creepy. Now give me your sword. Ew! You've gone mad, have you? I'll teach you, you Bleed. Rat. Bleed again. Try me. So he drops the orange guide and soapstone. Which lets you write those messages um, that you see all over the place. A humanity and his weapon, the Uchi Katana. Which is going to be my main weapon until I have enough strength for the. Um, for this Wyander. And if we go up he over here, it's, a small, it's an ambush, but it's a fairly easy to with ambush. No, you just kind of... As long as you get them kind of one at a time. I think these guys are a double pull. Right? Oh no, you can get one of them. And then this guy. Backstab. Oh, whatever. Um, we can go up this ladder. Is an item. <laughs> Praise the sun. It's really cool how you can see kind of everywhere. Um, we're going to be going in there, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Uh, I don't remember. But yeah, you can see pretty much if you just stop and take the time to look, you can see a lot of places that you're either going to go or. Yeah. I don't pull. <sighs> Whatever. Why not? Nope. Can't make the jump. Alright. Back up we go. It's not like we went all that far anyway. That was that. Light this bonfire. Twelve strength. If I'm, how much strength do I need for this? I need fourteen. Yeah. So until then, you know, fourteen and twenty-four. All right. So now all the enemies are back to life. We rush this guy. Should be doing uh, two in the weapon because really don't use this shit that much. Ooh, this guy dropped me out of nowhere. That was unexpected. Yeah, those are the only ones that rush you. Um, 
here. This is a nasty trap. Oh, you backstab one. Dodge. Backstab the other. You are invincible while you backstab. And backstab the third. Um, this is another shortcut to a later area in the game. So we will be kindling that bonfire over there. It's going to be fairly useful to us. In here. This guy. Parry and repost. Repost, repost in this guy. That guy got the jump on me once. Um, over this way. And these should be the black fire bombs, right? Yeah. Cool. Come over this way. I will use a fire bomb here. Just because those guys are really annoying. But you know, I could completely walk. Oh, out of here, bro. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. Yo, I'm getting my shit handed to me right now. Give it right back, though. Drop a crossbow, drop a crossbow, nope. Come on, give me one of you guys. There you go. And now the other one. The only reason I'm landing so many backstabs is because of the, the shield I'm using. I'm using the target shield, which actually has uh, makes parrying a lot easier. Down there is an is an enemy that I will not be fighting yet. I will fight him eventually, but not right now. Ooh, that was almost bad. Did he kill himself though? Sometimes he kills himself. Sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, he killed himself. Um, and we can also use the master key to come here. Down there is a very strong uh, enemy who I will not be uh, fucking with today. Maybe next episode I will, though. Um, climb up the stairs, and this is the boss room. This is the boss fog. There is a crystal wizard. Die. Ah. Yeah. Alright, so we got that. Those are upgrade stones. Um, however, there's an item back here that I didn't get. So we will go back and get it. It's that right there. That key that we picked up from the merchant, the residence key, I believe will open this. Yeah, the residence key. Or the master key. The master key will open that also. There we go. Gold pine resin. Which is very useful for the first boss fight. Not really necessary, but very useful nonetheless. Um, Alright, so let's go back. We'll use a whole more bone. Fuck it. And I will kindle the bonfire just to get the 10 Estus flasks. So right now, I am down to 8. I need one more humanity. One to come alive and one to kindle. Get rid of that. Hollowing. Let's see if I have a soul item. I don't know if I picked one up though. I'm kindling this bonfire because this is going to be a fairly useful bonfire for us. If you look right up here, uh, that ladder, it's going to be a shortcut later. Yeah, kind of right after we beat the, the Taurus demon anyway. Come on, yes. 
Oh no. There's a summon sign over there. Why is there a summon sign over there? Whatever. Um, it puts me in mid road, which I don't like. So, still in mid road. All right. There we go. Light roll. We're good. easier to kill these guys. <laughs> Jump attack. Got him. Like a sir? What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, he has the Drake sword. Never mind. So, last time I did this, I got invaded, and God, was it awful. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come die. It walks so slow. Um, I am playing on PC using a PS4 controller and input mapper. Um, the only mods I'm using are DS Fix and the to get the 60 FPS and the um, HD texture package. I actually, notice I'm doing more on on the parries with the dagger. But up front, this is a lot better. And that guy over there, once he throws the barrel, once the barrel is gone, the barrel does not respawn. All these blood stains. A lot of a lot of people must be playing. can dig it hopefully I can the one boss fight I know I'm gonna need help with is fucking small and orange team those guys always kick my ass so no matter how much I play no matter what, whatever he's gonna kick my ass uh -huh. so we enter the boss room immediately come up this ladder because this boss is not that difficult, but once you get it, well, it's not that difficult if you kill these guys. Otherwise, he can be quite a bitch. Ooh, what'd you drop? Titanite shard. That is an upgrade material. And let's equip our gold pine resin. Come on. You gotta come out a lot farther than I remember from. Um, but once he jumps up, you can actually come up here, climb up this ladder, and you can actually get a plunging jump attack on him. So you got this, he attacks, gold pine resin, and once he's looking up, forward R2. Yeah! through his legs and you just kind of bait it like that ooh he got me wow he almost killed me 
I don't remember the last time I almost died to Taurus Demon. And he's dead. I legit thought I was dead right there. That was that was fucking scary. What I get? Fuck. Sometimes he has a chance to drop the Demon Great Axe, which is the uh, weapon that you get for killing the Asylum Demon uh, with the Black Fire Bombs. First time to meet him. Yep. And so we killed him. We will grab this item. Come down here. Right, and meet one of the best NPCs in the game. No. Oh. So we have. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Alright, so that is Solaire. He does have a couple of extra lines of dialogue, so let's see if we can get that from oh, him. Hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Alright, that is the last of it, though. Notice this, there is no sword in his sheath. That's that's kind of weird. That That's actually really weird. Um, so, we continue from here. You jump over here, but then you jump back. Did I trigger it? Yes, I did. Ooh, I didn't know that was that far. Like that shot that far back. Fuck. All right, so that triggers him. He pretty much stays there. Uh, so let's see if I can just make this run. Go. Yes. There we go. So from right here, where's that, where's that boat coming from? Whatever. Um, you come right down here, and this is the ladder to that shortcut that I was telling you about before. Right there is the bonfire that we kindled. Um, come down here, and we will rest at this bonfire, level up. Like I said, we're pretty much just going straight strength right now. Because I don't really need that much uh, uh, vitality yet. Once I hit around 25 uh, strength, uh, I'm gonna start pretty much just dumping everything into uh, vitality and endurance. Uh, but for now, I think we'll we'll finish off episode one here. So we're already going around 45 minutes or so, uh, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Where we will fight the uh, the Belgargoyles.
Yep. We'll get some help for that too. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.